was not expecting it to be this bright. Three point lighting is not gonna work. So a week later we met up for our second day of shooting and oh man, did we have our fair share problems. Uh, all right, we'll take. Both of my actors are busy people. It's gonna be a challenge finding time to shoot when they're both available. So I'm gonna have to simplify things. I remove one scene from the script and I rewrote another. This way, today will be the last day that I need both actors together. I know, I always do that. Your garage door is not a doorbell. <laughs> yeah, he does it. Coffee? I'm gonna head upstairs and start uh, planning out. Are you naked, honey? I'm naked. Okay. <laughs> Island Queen? Dad's hat. Dad's hat! Chew on that. So here's the plan. I've got until 6 p.m. to shoot every day. Travis and Jessica are gonna be going out of town, so tonight is their last night and they've got plans. We're gonna knock out the bedroom scene, huge scene, but we rehearsed it last week, so that should help. Jessica, Travis's girlfriend, will be reading for the other woman on the cell phone. Then I'm gonna try and knock out the bathroom scene with Travis, and then maybe later we'll shoot Kate at the park during magic hour. I am ascending the stairs. Beware. Oh, kinda, kinda bright. This scene takes place at night, but because of scheduling conflicts, I now have to shoot it during the day and make it look like it's night. Now, I never scouted this room during the day, so I didn't know how much light leaks around the curtain. This could be a huge problem. Maybe if I shoot it in the opposite direction, we'll be okay. Ooh, it's bright in here. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably One thing about this monitor that bugs me, and it seems to be true for most field world monitors, is that little LED light right there. Even when you turn this puppy off, it's still draining your battery. This is the field world FW760. You can find more info about all the gear I use in that kit profile linked below. Got you a warm cup of joe. Yeah. Sudden dimitis. Ugh, caffeine. These are little gaff tape strips right here. I don't think there's a setting in this camera that allows me to do two, three, five crops. So I do an old trick, which is place gaff tape over it. Now, now the strips are small, so I can still see my settings down here. And then in my monitor, I actually have a two, three, five crop. Another thing with the G7, uh, as you can see, I'm getting signal to my external monitor, but the second I press record, boom. Now we're recording. No signal. That said, this is still an awesome camera for beginners. I did a review on it, link below. I am timing myself to see how long it's gonna take me to get this lighting set up. I'm aiming for 15 minutes. 100%. I'm using the Aperture Amaran F7. It's a bicolor light. I'm powering this little guy using Sony NPF style batteries. angle this bounce I can angle it where I want off the bed there that bounce is full on and then I can almost flag it just by how I angle it and we're trying to replicate this practical light right here reflector 12 minutes on lighting 12 minutes on lighting awesome so I forgot the brass adapter that goes in here so I can't mount this on a stand a clamps so maybe this will work for Phil We'll see. 16 minutes on lighting. Bring the camera in there and see what it's looking like. We could be shameless, so we're looking a, a hair underexposed, but I am actually okay with it because of the nature of the scene. <laughs> 20 minutes on lighting. I think I'm getting like fill from the... Oh yeah, see all that light up there? Yeah. I don't know that I want it. So if I'm gonna... Yeah, definitely fill from over here. Huh. So my worst fear has been confirmed. There is too much light coming in through those windows. I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of way to black them out. I'm not prepared for this and I wasn't planning on it. Just gaff tape a sheet over this area. Just this one. I mean, this one too, if we can. I don't know if that will be enough to hold it up. Gaff tape? It should be. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. This is why you always need gaff tape on set. Time for the fake friends, I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not sudden now, my own. 
don't sell, but those real ones, they coming now. From over here, it's getting her. Yeah, it's that corner, actually. Yeah, that's like it's just all all of this. Oh look who's reaching now. Oh friends wanna feature now. They don't work, so they need a free oh you I still corner. see, yeah. Yeah, well look at this. This corner. little corner right here is just blasting. 33 minutes on lighting. Jeez. We're still getting some bounce off. It's still too much light. What happened? Well, one one the sheet's coming down. Now from the west side of that old town, but there's no show. So I go down to the open mic, show love to the real ones they know now. It's a little better, but I can see it on Kate right now as well. Well, the scene was supposed to be a night scene, but maybe I can make it a day scene. What are you talking about? Well, I'm, I have to, I can't spend forever on this light, man. Set this up. Some of y'all don't know now. In a couple months, you're gonna find out. Been blowing up from the underground that they stepping on a landmine now. 45 minutes on lighting. We had to jerry rig some kind of situation over here to block all this mess. We got two light stands, a blanket, like three sheets on the wall, a pillow up top, another, what is that? Another blanket over here and another blanket over there. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I may not have to lob both of you. That works, and then I can put a mic at the end of that. I haven't used this little guy in forever. It just occurred to me we may get a difference in sound between having a shot mic and a lob. Yeah, hearing them back to back, it'll be obvious because it's a whole different type of mic. I've encountered this many times before. If you cover one actor with a lav mic and then another actor with a shotgun mic, the audio will sound noticeably different between the two actors. Every time I've mixed mics, usually sounds awful and I've had problems in post trying to make both mics sound alike. I'm gonna gaff tape this lav mic up Travis's arm while he's holding the phone so it's gonna get both actors with one, one mic and we'll see how that sounds. Uh, maybe we'll throw another mic in there if we need to. So the sun's melting all the tape. Awesome. Taping the crap out of these blankets. Are you guys comfortable? I don't want anybody yeah. doing anything yeah. not comfortable with. Let's just get yeah. that out of the way. It's not that kind of party. Then. We got the two lovelies here. LED panel from Aperture Bicolor bouncing off this guy, replicating what we're getting from the lamp, but now this is a more controllable source. Uh, this is just a mic stand that the light is attached to to give me a little more flexibility instead of a C stand, giving us that beautiful, beautiful bounce, bounce action. Now they're lit with a little Godox light on Travis's cell phone that I attached. Dimmable so we can dim it down to whatever we want. Remember how I said we'd have somebody else reading for the other woman so that I could focus on directing and camera? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We spent so long on lighting that Jess had to go, so now I'm reading for the other woman <laughs> and I'm directing and I'm operating camera. Oh, hey, yeah, what's up? Oh, hey, I've heard a lot of, oh, that's you. So you sit up for that last piece, asks honey, what's up? And then you sit back there for the last bit. Maybe you kind of sit back into some kind of two shot. Go ahead. Scooch over to Trav more. Mm. <laughs> Sit back. So I like this angle here, but I don't, know, I don't think I can get a tripod up here. Like right about there looks good. Hmm, and that could be a good thumbnail too. That's the shot we want right there. I'm about to rehearse for 20 minutes. No cameras, no light touch-ups. Just rehearsal. Y'all hang out. I'm about to share part of a really long conversation I had with my actors. If this is not your thing, feel free to skip ahead about two minutes. What's the choice you're going for there? Kind of like, okay, let's let's end this now. Like, let's settle this situation. Some boundaries need to be drawn. End it now with who? With her texting him at 11 o'clock okay. at night. Like, work friends, like, that's too far. It's already in your words that the confrontation's there. Yeah. So what if we had another choice? The audience by now knows what you're thinking. They've seen you in the park. It's clear. Yeah. Well, I think this would maybe could be a good opportunity to add another color. Yeah. Let the words say all that for you, but you can write another shade. Yeah, kind that of makes have sense. It be like, I want to meet her. Like, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. So then the scene has somewhere to go. Yeah, and, and that we're not playing the end of the scene too early either. Can, can I actually ask for something? Go ahead. Yeah, what's up? As soon as the phone call starts and the conversation's happening between them, mm -hmm. what's going through my head? Maybe you don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah, Maybe it's just flirting. Like flirting and Casual flirting. Okay. Because I think if you play 
that you know this is wrong, you're spelling it out for the audience. The more we make the audience work for their meal, the more they're gonna appreciate it. We're gonna take a couple thumbnail shots. The sun is officially cooking our gaff tape. Uh, uh, the struggle is real, Travi Cakes. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. Why is it so hot? Getting ready to roll. I am at ISO 200, shutter speed 50, uh, aperture 2.0. My white balance is actually set to daylight. We're just getting a little creative with the color temperature. I want to mix the color temperatures in the scene. So the simulated lamp light lighting the actors from the side, that's set to 32K, right? And then the Godox light, the little cell phone clip light thing, that's set to about 54K. I think it's like 52 or 54. And then the camera itself, it's white balanced to daylight. So that lamp light's going to look really orange on our actors. Like their skin and everything is going to be a little orange. It'll look weird when we shoot it, but it'll look good after I color grade it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. A, B, C, D. What's extra light. dope about this <laughs> tripod is, as you can see I've got the bed here but because this extends I can actually whoop, kind of float over the bed and get the shot that you guys are seeing right now one take one I want to establish both the actors in bed with a sliding shot it's an experiment if it doesn't work it doesn't work it's fun to try something new Keep my phone this way do you want me to cheat my whole body a little bit more towards camera like battery died uh, didn't fully charge last night for some reason. I didn't leave it on long enough. So we got to say bye-bye to my monitor so that, you know, we can use it on that light. And then I'll throw this guy on the charger. Bye-bye. Bloop. Don't you think he's kind of whiny? Stop. Kate, move further up. Uh, he is. No. Very whiny. <laughs> no. Tap him with, the, with your hand. Okay. Trav, mm -hmm. when you're saying he's whiny, you're annoyed. Okay. Don't you think he's kind of whiny? Stop. <laughs> Just tell him no. It's cute. Shut up. Okay. Don't you think he's really whiny? Stop. Like really whiny? No, I think it's cute. Just shut up. Snappy shut up. Like just okay. throw it out there. Like really whiny? No, shut up. I, I, I think it's cute. Just give him a shut up. Stop. Really whiny? Shut up. Don't you think he's kind of whiny? Shut up. Like really whiny. Stop. <laughs> this one you're really into watching it. Okay. And let the lines come out of that. Don't you think he's kind of whiny? Stop. Like really whiny. Shut up. And different choice, Trav. Man, his voice is so annoying. Gosh. I can't listen to this. Stop. Different choice, Kate. Less on the happy side, more on the I'm just into this side. Okay. Less smiles. This guy whines Shh. so much. Shh. I can't listen to his voice. Just... Love it. We're still getting smiles though. Okay. Man, his voice is like Shh. nails on a Stop. chalkboard. Stop. All right, one more. This guy's so full of himself. Stop. His voice is. Shh. Boom! I think we got it. Yes. Cool. Ooh yeah. That last take was seven minutes long. Take takes a little while to zero in on it, man. Shot one is done. What's up? Uh-huh. Let me check that audio. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Audio is good. We'll take it from this is after you got the text. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That would be that bowl slipping. No matter how tight I crank this bowl down, boop, we're still getting the bowl is slipping. Bloop. And I've cranked this little knob down like really, really tight. So obviously this is kind of the limit in terms of weight. Two shot right now. So my frame for that guy will be here. You've got to take your time and really kind of hunt for that frame. Maybe I just do. Can't really rush. We'll just do this here, maybe. Let's see how that works. I'm about to get a static two shot. Camera's not moving around. It's locked down. I'm covering the whole phone conversation with it. You can think of this as kind of my master shot. So if anything goes wrong, in the scene while I'm cutting it together or there's little gaps or things just aren't kind of fitting together quite well, I can always come back to this shot. Caller. Right now it's... It's like 11.30. Text comes through. 
call her. Let's take it back from the top again. A little more subtle. You're just okay. saying it more to yourself. Just let it fall out. Text comes through. Call her. What, right now? It's like 11.30. On the call her, different choice. Okay. Try Do you have different. a specific line you want me to try something different on? Or just nope. the whole thing? Change little things here and there. Okay. Text comes in. Call her. What, right now? It's like 11.30. If it's not too late to text, then it's not too late to call. So, she's right here. Uh, you're on speaker. Hey, Stacy. Hey, hey, uh, I've heard a lot about you. Oh, really? Uh, I'm just learning about you, so... Yeah. When you say call her, almost mumble it to yourself. Okay, yeah. And Travis, mumble the whole scene. Okay. Not inaudibly mumble, just... Lazy talk. Okay. Call her. Right now? It's like 11.30. If it's 11.30 and it's not too late to text, it's not too late to call. I want to meet her. Hey, Stacy, it's Troy. Uh, you got a second? Uh, yeah, what's up? Now, the purpose of the mumble take is to get a really relaxed, like, low-key version of the scene so that you have options in the editing room. You might only use one or two lines from a mumble take. You might not use any, but it's there if you need it. This video is sponsored by Storyblocks Audio. When you're fleshing out the sound design for a film, you can go out and re-record all of the sounds you need, or you can grab them from a sound library. Generally, you're kind of doing a mix of both. You can hunt down some of these missing sound effects with Storyblocks Audio. I got all of the sound effects and most of the music for the short film from Storyblocks. When I do the editing from start to finish video, depending on how things come together, you guys will get to see what that workflow is like. I used about 10, 15-ish sound effects from them on this short film, but saved me a lot of time because I didn't have to go back out and re-record everything. With a membership to Storyblocks Audio, you get unlimited downloads to like studio quality audio clips, loops, music tracks, sound effects. All of the content is royalty free so you can use it for commercial or personal projects like YouTube videos. And new clips are added on the reg so there's pretty much always something new. If you want more info on Storyblocks Audio, click the link in the description. So now we are sliding over Travi Cakes here to get our close-up shot of the Kate cannon. This will be 63, take one. Okay, roll sound. Got red. Got red. It's like 11.30. If it's not too late to text, it's not too late to call. So I'm her. really tight on you, Kate. So okay, you, I won't move as much. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Stacy, it's Troy. Uh, you got a second? Uh, yeah, what's up? Um, so my girlfriend and I were just talking and right so my girlfriend and I were just talking and you came up and I thought you two should meet. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, so we're both right here. You're on speaker. Hey, Stacy. Lead in again with that. You're both on speaker and then I'm going to do one of these. Okay. Okay. Now go ahead on and lead in with that again. Try Okay. Uh, so we're both right here. You're on speaker. Hey, Stacy. Oh, hey. Hi. I've. Oh, sorry. That's Leader, okay. Leader in again, Trav. I was okay. supposed to say hi. How are you? Funny thing about filmmaking, all of your accidents can be useful. That moment where I forgot to say a line and so Kate gets flustered and you can kind of see the confusion like flash over her face and she doesn't know what to do next. That moment made it into the final film. Go ahead. All right, and then I got... Very, very convenient. I'm running her close up again. This time I'm getting even closer. I want you to be able to see like every micro expression on her face. I'm also gonna get some other variations as well. I wanna meet her. All right, we'll take... This guy is collapsing. Yeah. Damn, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Troy comes in on Wednesdays. All right, reset. Six. All different choices. Uh, I work on the cigar lounge on Broadway. Anthony's. Yeah, yeah. And Troy usually comes in on. On that realization discovery moment. Yeah. Let's just tell a story with your eyes. You know, pick a few spots out. Okay. And then get up. 
Okay. It's a little more ambiguous. Like, yeah. what's going on? What, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Hide it's, it it's a little broad. bit more. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll take, take just the collar part. I'm going to push in on it. Okay. Text comes in. The collar. Well, right now. It's not too late to text. It's not too late to call. Call her. Well, right now? It's like 11.30. It's not too late to text. It's not too late to call. I want to meet her. Pick a choice that's a little more fighter. Okay. Call her. What, right now? It's like 11.30. It's not too late to text. It's not too late to call. I want to meet her. Okay. I don't think we have it yet, but we're close. It's like 11.30. It's... Not too late to text. It's not too late to call. Let's take it back from the top. Yeah, I don't think it's very different. Um, let's see. This might be one of those things where you can play with your uh, tonality with your voice. Okay. Because I think you're getting locked into one way of saying it. Yeah. So call her. What, right now? It's like 11.30. It's not too late to text. It's not too late to call. I want to meet her. Hey, hey, yeah. I heard a lot about you. Oh, really? Because I'm just hearing about you. You are baiting her. Okay. Oh, that's interesting, because I'm just hearing about, about you. you. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, I heard a lot about you. How are you? Oh, um, I'm just hearing about you. We're getting Travis's reaction shots next. We're going to do that whole phone conversation over again multiple times but it's just gonna be an angle on him. I'm gonna frame them in sort of a matching close-up-ish so that it won't be jarring when I cut between them. Call her. Right now? It's like 11.30. We blew through Travis's coverage pretty quickly because it was mostly reaction shots. Dead. Yep. Dead. Bumping out battery. Take a peek at. Okay, look down at Kate just gracefully. Just pick a few random spots and just kind of explore the room. Down the phone. Hun? What's wrong? No, on this one, just improvise, do whatever. Okay. What's up? It's nice to just let your actors take the reins for a while. Hey, just do your own thing, mix it up. And of course, in this instance, the take that I ended up using was Travis's improv take. I shot another angle on Travis just so I could have some options in the editing room. I don't think I ended up using any of these though. The Amaran F7 is just like burning through our MPF batteries. I'm gonna have to give up the use of my monitor so that I can use all of the batteries to keep that light on. Next shot I need to get is pointed that way. We're getting Kate's close up, but the only problem is you can see the light kind of spilling around the, uh, yeah, the obvious curtain bits. So I need to figure out a way to patch that up. Adjust the light to where we want it. So we get a little more molding on Kate in this shot. So it's not so flat. Kind of blast it at the wall there, yeah. That looks better. Booch forward. We're just gonna cheat you. Okay, yeah, that works. If we shot this at night, everything would have been so much easier. All we're gonna do in this shot is you sit up and just think. We're gonna get a little ambience on this as well. Shot 63, take four. The most unnatural scratch <laughs> ever. Really far away. <laughs> Too far away. Go a little lower. Yeah, right there. Okay. Action. Okay. Just getting different angles, handheld. Because why not? 
the shot got cut and never got used. The, the footage was too shaky. I couldn't stabilize it enough to get something usable. And it's too bad. Like, I really like the idea of looking down at Kate the moment she realizes she's been lied to. It was sort of a motivated camera position expressing like a subjective okay, state of mind. But, you know, eh. Set up into the show. Okay. Hey, we got it. got the light just bouncing on the wall I've cheated Travis about two three feet that way so that way I can get this camera angle that I need slight light changes like that nobody ever notices and if they do so what as long as it looks good nobody cares it's my old D4 Darius heartbreak video oh how pathetic how sad Ooh, this is gonna be a sick shot well yeah So this is battery swap, what, number three, number four? Uh, and then when one goes out, we throw another one back on. Scroll through somewhere like here, and then we'll do the text. Probably got it. So phone stuff's done. I don't know if this is gonna work. Tripod's gonna go on the bed somehow. Okay. So try to point to where the lav mic is. Booyah! Booyah! It's hidden right between the pillow. Move the pillow thing aside slightly. Booyah! See that little black thing right there? That's the lav. All right, close it up. And if we move down, we can see the recorder's right there. And the wire is running up between the pillows. Time for a SD card swap. Completely comes off the rig. We can just jump in. So Kate, start your... You don't work at Anthony's. On this one, Kate? Yeah. Lay down and don't look at Trav. Trav don't make at it you. Easy. Yeah, this is a very casual revelation. So yeah. I don't look at her? She you you at will me. look at her. Okay. You'll just... You don't work at Anthony's. He doesn't even exist in this scene, okay. do you? Just keep looking. Yeah. You just want to mean mug me. Action. You don't work at Anthony's. Maybe when you lay down, give it like a few beats until it seems almost uncomfortable. Okay. And then let it out. You don't work at Anthony's. We got it. We're done. Ah. Ah. So I got all the shots that I needed, and from here on out, I only need to schedule one actor at a time to finish the rest. If you guys missed the last episode and you want to check it out, the link is in the description. And also, if you have not seen this short film yet, that link is also in the description as well. Thank you for watching. Deeper out.